everyone. Welcome back to another video. Taylor Schloop here, and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you are all doing well out there. And today we're going to talk about acoustic guitars again. Today we're looking at my acoustic pedal board, and this is what I use um, if I'm going somewhere where there's house sound and um, I don't have control over mixing. Uh, I have a similar rig. Uh, pretty, it's pretty much the same thing, um, but it is a classic junior pedal board uh, with my 10 channel Yamaha mixer on it. And uh, I don't ever EQ my guitar in the mixer or anything. I like my EQ, I like my guitar to be EQ'd before it hits the mixer. So um, this board is my solution for when I gotta go somewhere where there's house sound and I don't have control I can just tell them to you know run everything flat and um, yeah so first of all we're using my D28 this is my Martin D28 and it's got a K&K Pure Mini pickup in it and then we're going into the K&K Pure Preamp and that's just run flat uh, treble mids and bass just run flat volumes wide open and then that's going into an MXR 10 band EQ Okay, that's what I really use to shape my sound, and I'm going to do another video on that one uh, here in a couple weeks. And then, I've got the Snark pedal tuner, which is great. I don't know why more people don't have this tuner, because it's really accurate, and it's got a great big screen on it, and uh, it just works really well. And then for the reverb, uh, normally on my other acoustic board that I use when I'm running sound, I don't have a reverb pedal on it, because I do have reverb in my mixer, and that's where I run it there. Uh, but if I'm going somewhere where I don't have that kind of control, I do have a reverb pedal on here, so I can still get, you know, I don't have just a dry signal from the guitar. So that is the Joyo Space Verb, by the way. And this is all powered by the Joyo Power Supply 2. Great power supply, I haven't had any problems with it yet. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this thing. Uh, I'll just play everything flat really quick and show you guys what the pickup itself sounds like. I also want to mention that I do have my feedback buster in today because I use that for my acoustic shows. It doesn't really alter the tone too much, uh, not really at all to my ears, but I just wanted it in there so I would have uh, a good representation of what my sound sounds like live. So, there it is. Okay, just messing with the volume control on the pure preamp. That's how it works. If it were at noon, it would sound like this. Okay, all the way up. Alright, now the first pedal in line is the MXR 10 band EQ, and I'm using this to shape the sound. Um, I wanted more of a natural sound for my acoustic, and some of the microphone pickups just don't seem to gel with me, I guess. Um, they, they have a tendency to lack equality in each string, so like the bottom E would be really loud for me when I use the anthem, and then the G through uh, really the G through B were kind of like just gone and then the high E would be pretty prominent in the mix. So the k, &K does a good job of keeping everything equal, especially if you're running the pure preamp uh, right after the pickup, okay? So here's what the 10 band EQ sounds like. Actually, let's go ahead, I'll play a couple chords without it. All right, and with the EQ. Okay, so you can see I lost a little bit of volume when I turned on the EQ pedal, but that's all right because really what I'm uh, what I'm missing is that low mid, and that's kind of what I cut out of my EQ. That's kind of where the K&K &K sounds boxy. 
Um, but, you know, you can dial that right out uh, around the 100 and, uh, 125 range to 500 hertz range. You just kind of dial that out. And then I kind of boost it around the 4 to 8K range. And then I bring it back down around the 16K range to kind of even it out. And that makes it lose a little bit of that chirp on top. It has a tendency to like have this chirp to it that I don't like. So I think it sounds pretty natural. It sounds like a microphone to me. Um, it's about as close and about the best sound that I've been able to get in a live setting that sounds like a real mic'd up D28. Okay, and from there we go to the Snark pedal tuner. This is great if you're going on break uh, in between sets. Just turn that on. <laughs> Nothing. And then if you want to tune, obviously. Good thing I did that. I was out of tune. Okay, and then the last thing uh, on the board, other than the power supply, is the Joyo Space Verb. I think I'm on like a room setting or something. So, here's without, uh, just kind of dry. Okay, and then with the space verb on. And as far as the mix goes for the Joyo space verb, that kind of depends from room to room uh, how much of it I'll have mixed in. The mix knob isn't up that much right now. Um, but it does sound good. It doesn't, you know, it makes it not so dry and just, like, unappealing. Whatever I'm playing, I need to have reverb. I gotta have reverb. Alright, so there you guys have it. That is my acoustic gig rig pedal board rundown. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful. Maybe one of these uh, pieces of gear, one of these pedals is like the missing link in your acoustic rig chain. Anyway. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and please be sure to hit that like button and uh, share the video if you would like. Uh, if not, don't. That's cool too. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day, your week, your month, your year. Everything. Keep on rocking. <laughs>